our beautiful planet that loves us all so much is becoming drained and lifeless itself. A quick example of this will be the ongoing mining of our limited resources. A few weeks ago, while I was in school, I heard the news that our government created access for a mining company to come in and dredge and clear three million cubic metres of our barrier reef. I was horrified. I'm at loss of words to even describe how this makes me feel. It's so inconceivable that someone would think that this is okay and think that it doesn't have an effect on our planet as a whole. So I thought, where do we go from here? Is this just it? Is this my future? Government and greedy corporations making decisions based purely on money? I felt a call to action. I was so full of emotion about this that I couldn't just let it go. I had to do something. So in the heat of the moment, I traveled around my school, literally forcing people to sign a petition I found on the internet to save the Barrier Reef. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not gonna spend my time arm wrestling people to sign petitions. You cannot make people do anything. The way to engage people is to appeal to their emotions. Give them purpose. So this is what I propose. Let's form high performance teams that make real change. A high performance team is a group of people working together, supporting each other, working towards a common goal. A high performance team could vary from a family to a community to a soccer team. We, in high performance teams, we see attributes such as mutual accountability and role modeling. There's strong research that shows people follow behavior rather than strategy. Like, if I were to give each of you a plan of how to behave, yet I then behaved in a completely different way, you'd follow my behavior rather than my written word. This is why it's so important that we use role modeling in our everyday lives. Behave how we want others to behave. As Gandhi so famously said, be the change you want to see in the world. One of the other characteristics of high performance teams is purpose. Each individual has a purpose. There's no one man for himself. We take care and responsibility for each other. This means that for us, as a community, to work, to create change, we have to work together. And it starts with an individual making a stand. On a global scale, the situation looks dark. Mining in, general is con mining in general is out of control. Deforestation is continuing at a ferocious rate. Drought is creating massive humanitarian disasters for millions of people all over the world. Our future's looking bleak and not nearly enough people seem to care. In the face of all this, it's easy to become overwhelmed and feel like you're not big enough. This is not true. As Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. History shows that it only takes one person to make a difference. Think of our historical leaders in the past. Gandhi, Martin Luther King. For me personally, Sue Lennox from Osgreen. I want you to think of the people who stood up for what they believed in, even against all odds. Now think, why couldn't this be you? It takes courage, yeah, but isn't it worth it in the long run? Making change isn't hard. Living sustainably shouldn't be a chore. When I was in year seven, I joined a high performance team, Youth Leading the World, an organization developed by Osgreen to inspire and empower the youth of today to become leaders and make a difference. While I was there, I learned things I didn't even know existed in the world. I was taught how to reduce my footprint and how to stand up to adults about what I thought was important. I had no idea those three days would change my life like they did. I definitely had no idea they would lead me to this. After that, my eyes were opened. I wanted to know more. I was one of the lucky ones who was surrounded by inspiring people. My environmental teacher at school, my family, my friends who were also completely moved by this experience. So four years ago was when I first went to that Youth Lead in the World Congress. And now I'm here. 
I attended two more Youth Lead in the World Congresses and then went straight on to becoming a facilitator. This year, I facilitated my second Congress and those three days are still the highlight of my year. This experience has led me to a greater sense of purpose. I feel so much pride at the end of those three days when I get to see the amazing plans this now committed group have come up with. This year, our Bellingen group have decided to create an eco-festival. All their ideas, we just nudge them that way. This festival is about raising awareness about our environment and what they care about. This whole experience has been so inspiring because this really is youth leading the world. I've met amazing new people and inspired others myself. Hearing an 11 year old say, thank you so much Ruby, I want to be just like you, is possibly one of the most rewarding things ever. I never get tired of it. <laughs> My family and I, we are living at a sustainable level. We compost and use public transport. We reuse everything. We buy locally and rarely eat meat. And you know what? It's not hard. It's not time consuming and I couldn't imagine living any other way. My family is a high performance team. We work together and have the same ideal goal, to give our planet and all the beings on it a beautiful and vibrant, sustainable future. So I'm 16 years old. I'm about to go into year 11 and 12. Adults are always saying to me, work hard. You, these two years, this is, the, this is that moment. This is it. The next two years is when it's the deciding moment for you. What? Why? <laughs> Why just these next two years? After that, am I allowed to just stop trying? Cool, I'm done, great. I believe that every year, every day is important. That every day we should be aiming and trying to achieve greatness. Imagine a world where everybody committed to this every day. So I call on all of you here today, all of you listening to this talk, to stand up, to be heard. I call you to action. I'm going to ask that each of you trust me for a moment. I want each of you to make a mental pledge ensuring the future for our planet. Those of you who are willing to make this pledge with me stand before me now. Yay! <laughs> okay. Please make the peace sign with your fingers like so and place them on your heart. Repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Pledge that from this day forward, I will aim high for our future and the future of our planet, our home. Thank you. See, everything's okay, the future's in her hands. <laughs> Astonishing.